Welcome to Devices Setup and today we will learn how to set up Faber-Castell 2024 new Wi-Fi extender. So there are two ways to set it up. First is via WPS and second is via browser. Let's check the WPS setup first. In this, plug the extender near your router and wait for around 120 seconds until it reboots properly. After that, press the WPS button press it on the front of the extender next within two minutes press the WPS button press it on your router you will then see a blinking LED on the extender and the router after 30 seconds or so the extender Wi-Fi LED or internet LED will get solid which confirms a successful WPS setup if in case you don't see LED on 2.4G and 5G then it means the setup was not complete in this scenario, it might be possible that WPS is disabled on the router. So you will need to first enable it. Watch video given in the description to learn how to do it. On the other hand, after successful setup, you will find the new Wi-Fi extender network showing up in your Wi-Fi list. It might pick up the same name as your router's SSID along with hyphen EXT. Moreover, the password will be same as your router's Wi-Fi password. So you can try connecting your different devices to it and also unplug it and place it at the desired location. The best location should be halfway between your router and the location where you need Wi-Fi connectivity. Now let's check the second method. But before we try that, we recommend you to once reset the extender first. Watch video given in the description to learn how to do it. After reset, grab your phone or computer and go to the Wi-Fi list. There, you will find your Wi-Fi extender showing up. It might come up as Wi-Fi hyphen repeater, Wi-Fi hyphen extender, Wi-Fi hyphen XXX, etc. You can recognize your extender easily because it will be an open network without a password. So tap on it to connect to it. Once connected, open a browser on the same device and into the URL or address bar type 192.168.11.1 and hit enter. This will take you to the setup page of the Faber Castell extender. There, if it asks for username and password, then try admin admin or admin password. Next, it will ask you to select the network name that you want to extend and type its password for verification. So there, select your router's network SSID, then follow on screen instruction to complete the setup. Once done, hit save setting and then you will see your extender will reboot. On successful setup, you will find your extender network again showing up in your Wi-Fi list. It will pick up same name as your router's SSID with a different suffix. You can then connect to different devices to this extender's network. Lastly, if you found the video useful, then please do hit like and subscribe to support my efforts. Thank you.